okay? Let's go over to Tuesday now, because now we got this tower. Let's look at Tuesday. What's going on with this energy for Tuesday? We play in chess, not checkers, remember? This was last week's energy as well. We was playing chess, not checkers. I kept saying checkers. I went back and I watched the video and I was like, we're playing checkers. We're playing checkers. And I don't know if subconsciously I knew that the person that I was playing that I had to engage with was actually playing checkers. And I, there was no need for me to play chess. And I think that that's what was going on. But now this tower showed up. Because remember last week. Last week, Tuesday. That was the Knight of Cups. Mm-hmm. I remember. I remember. Okay. So now the tower shows up after the devil card, right? And we just saw the devil card. Something negative could have occurred in the collective's workplace. The devil card shows up after the temperance card, which we also saw. So something got out of balance in the workplace. All right, so now now balance needs to be restored in some way. If balance is restored in the workplace, this tower will reinforce the collective's foundation tremendously. Okay? This tower falls on a Tuesday. That's Mars Day. Mars and Gemini. This is the decision card. So quick thinking is necessary. Try to avoid arguments this week, especially on Tuesday. Mental clarity and awareness is very important right now. This energy is weird. This is some weird energy. I think that somebody's trying to do chaos magic on a collective again. No, because last week we wasn't really playing chess. We was playing checkers. Now this energy is showing up again and it's, it's a tower. It's not going to work though. I think somebody wants to come. I think somebody's trying to compete with the collective. The collective needs to do a return to sender spell fast. That's your quick thinking right there. We're going to get ahead of this energy. You need to do a return to sender spell. And I'm going to show you how I do mine. I'm going to show you how I do mine because I have it out anyway. Because <laughs> I'm constantly doing return to send spells. Because I'm always having dreams and all kinds of stuff be going on. Man, these people. I'm going to put this back here. I'm going to put this here. Okay. So this is my return to send spell. Okay. I asked you to see, what I did was I drew like what you might see as a C, right? A C, right? Half, a, like, it's more than half a circle. I made like a circle and I left this open at the top. And then you, I wrote my name. And you want to write three to five things beneath your name. Okay. I like to use the gold joss paper. This is my intention paper. So if I wrote, so when I write my intention statement, I'll write it on 
this paper when I do, you know, little um other little spells and rituals, I'll use my Joss paper. This one I've had for a long time because I'm constantly reusing it and reusing it and reusing it. But now I'm going to um make a new one for the new moon. For this new moon because especially now that I see this tower for the collective. <laughs> All right, so on this paper, I have what looks like a C that I turned into a circle. And I have my name and I have the word peace because that's what I want. I want peace of mind. I want a peace-filled life. This is what I desire. I desire to have a peace-filled mind, a peace-filled life. All right? <laughs> and then I want reflect. Under peace, I wrote reflect attack, and then I wrote return to sender. Okay, and after I write that, then I close the circle up, and then I take a tea light and I place it right on top of it and light it. And then once The candle goes out. You can either reuse it. I keep I now I usually reuse mine because I do other stuff with it. This is not the only I don't just do that. But if you're just if you just want to just do a return to sender spell, then after the candle goes out, then you take it and you just rip it. I'm gonna make a new one anyway. I'm just gonna show you. I just rip it. And that releases the energy. Okay, and then you just take it and rip it. Now, you can set it on fire if you want, or you can um, just take it outside, throw it up in the air. Okay, or you can just flush it down the toilet, throw it away in the garbage. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it you know, it doesn't matter. Okay. The spell is complete after that. Okay. Now, if you want to reinforce that spell, then you can read Psalms 70. After you light the candle, you're going to read Psalm 70. All right. It seems simple, but it is very powerful. All right. It's a very powerful spell and it works. Okay. Let me mute this TV because he's completely asleep now, thank God. But I'm just going to mute it so that then if he wakes up, I could just quickly turn it right back on. Oops, I have to... Okay. So now here's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to... At the end of this reading, I'm going to do a return to sender spell. All right. I'm going to do it for the collective. All right. So now if you want to be a part of the return to sender spell that I'm going to do on this video, hit the like button right now so that <clears throat> your energy is included. OK. Now, that's going to be an indication to the angels to help you with this issue this week. OK, so remember to and remember to um, subscribe as well. All right. But no matter when you watch this video. Even if it's 10 years from now, all right? If you like this video, you'll receive the protection from this return to sender spell that I'm doing later on, all right? When we're done, all right? So hit the button right now so that you don't forget, all right? So what I see going on for Tuesday is a negative energy has emerged to stop the collective's manifestation for change from their new moon ritual, all right? Someone or something is trying to stop the collective from manifesting, but it's not gonna work. Remember collective. Isaiah, according to Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against you shall 
prosper. Remember that. All right? And remember this symbol that I showed you last week. Remember to use this symbol. Okay? Order from chaos. All right? There is always harmony beneath chaos. There's always harmony beneath chaos. Okay? And remember, you read this from right to left. Right to left. That's how you read this symbol. Okay? So when you look at this symbol, you want... You want to imagine the symbol going into your third eye and down through your entire body. All right? That's how you're going to... Um, I'm going to lay that right there on top. Okay? 